Sorry everybody, it's Oaks here, and welcome back to some more Oaks Plays Minecraft. And, uh, it's been a while, <laughs> I was about to say in the last episode, but, uh, it, it has been a while, and, um, now I said that Zelda would, uh, be coming up, however, as you know, I was away, and, um, while I was away, what was I gonna say? <laughs> um, derp. I'd be derping. What was I gonna say? Oh right. While I was away, um, I brought all of my like capture cards and stuff to record Zelda, but the problem was my laptop like, couldn't handle it. Whatever. So no Zelda then, and then um, then I got on, and I wanted to do some stuff on my single player. So just prepared that time pick. So, um, basically this episode, I'm just going to be giving a lot of updates and update-related things. Now, uh, some of you may have noticed that, uh, and I'm going to do this while working on the house, but some of you may have noticed that uh, there's been ads on my videos, like at the beginning, maybe like a 10 to 15 second, maybe even 30 second advertisement. Uh, that is because... As of recently, I have been partnered with uh, the full screen network. So, um, you also notice in the description of all of my recent videos, it said like get partnered, and then there was a link to a channel. Uh, so, yeah, that is that. So, I'm now partnered. It's pretty cool. Uh, I'm also able to live stream now directly to my channel. So, for those of you that aren't subscribed on Twitch or whatever, you can see it all there. Um, so I got the glowstone behind there. Okay. So we're going to do one more chest and then uh, a big room. So you'll see what it looks like in a bit. But um, I'm not sure if it was... Yeah, it was the most recent episode where um, the video broke. <laughs> For some reason in rendering, uh, I'm not sure exactly what happened, but during rendering, whenever I sped it up, uh, something happened with the clip, and the footage was lost as soon as I started speeding it up, so I don't know what that's about, but this is the house if you haven't seen it. Uh, I can't remember if I ever made a video re-showcasing it. Um, and basically in that video we also went to the nether and got some stuff which you may have seen in that chest like we have blaze rods now and uh, a few other things so that's cool uh, blaze rods are good but yeah so I am now partnered with full screen so um, yeah there will be a, probably like an annotation that popped up um, or something along the lines of that we need to make a chest so yeah, we're pretty low on oak wood, so I've been trying to use uh, jungle wood for making these chests. Why am I making three? I, oh, right. I need to make four, actually. Perfect. Four chests. Oops. <laughs> trying to use hotkeys, and I'm failing. Okay, yeah, so the feel of it is kind of like furnaces, crafting tables. So, as I was explaining in the other video, my go-to gear, like water buckets and maybe extra swords and armor and stuff, will be in those front chests, and then maybe like blocks and stuff I'll use a lot. So now, let's carve out the first room. Uh, I want this kind of to be a spherical shape. Uh, I'm not sure if spherical is a word. Uh, <laughs> it might be, for all I know. But it's gonna be on slab, so let's actually do this. No. Let's do this. Dang it, stairs. Don't fail me. Okay. What do I want there? And then. Uh, I don't know what to put here. Hmm. Should we just do it like that? That looks a little weird. Oh, I know. 
maybe we can get an effect with some steps going. Yeah, that's pretty cool. It kind of has like a cross shape to it, which is matte, but whatever. We can work with it. And then, let's not do this on slabs. Let's have it raise up. And then, we can put some lighting on either side. And then, if we open this up a little more, I'm trying to think how to do this the best way. So, if we round it out here, it should be even. And then we can have a cross path going that way. So I want at least three blocks in between. Um, so it'll stop there. And we can go in one more. And that should be like the basic shape for this room, I guess. And then, do that. Hmm. And back there. Okay. What did I do wrong? Oh, indent this. Okay. So then, I'm gonna cover this in wood and stuff while I talk about some more updates. So yeah, now that there's ads on my videos, uh, obviously you can just skip them or whatever, and uh, yeah, hopefully they're not too much of an annoyance. Uh, I know ads can sometimes get in the way, but uh, hopefully they're not too bad, uh, because obviously it helps me and my channel to be able to make more videos for you guys. I don't know why I'm smelting stone. Give me that back, actually. Okay. <laughs> because this is just going to be turned into wood anyway, so... Yeah, we need a lot of wood for this project. But, um, yeah, so I, I hope the ads aren't too much of uh, a nuisance, but as I said, they help me uh, to actually be able to make more videos for you guys. And uh, it advertises my channel a bit more. So yeah, and I also noticed that uh, I'm getting very close to the 200 subscriber mark, and as you know, um, whenever I hit 100 subscribers, um, there was a Minecraft account and a Guild Wars account to be won, so there's going to be something uh, for 200, and I'll give you a hint, it deals with Q-World, um, so could be getting your hands on a Q-World accounts. Um, I'll either be giving away two or three, and I think the best way I'm going to have to do this is with PayPal, since it technically um, uses Euro, uh, because it's a European developer wallet. So, um, it's 15 Euro, which is around 20 US dollars. It's slightly different, but you can just go on Google and what's the conversion rate of 15 euro to uh, $20. I'm obviously going to look at that, uh, but yeah, so if you win that, uh, then I will send you the money by PayPal. But obviously, uh, this video isn't the giveaway since we aren't at 200 subs yet, but we are pretty close. I mean, we're only 30 off. And, um, yeah, I'm just really excited that uh, my channel's growing a lot faster than it was before, and I definitely hope to see some new viewers commenting and watching and enjoying my videos, and, yeah, because, I mean, that's really all, like, what it's all about, just making videos for viewers, entertainment, and this rain, it may probably want me to shut it off. Find messes with me. Where is animation particles? Ah, whatever. All you're supposed to like put particles on the crease or whatever, but I don't want to mess with it. <laughs> uh, I'm probably gonna put carpet over the um, 
some glowstone over there. Just to kind of make it look cleaner. I don't know what color yet, but we'll find out eventually. So yeah, this is going to be the main room of the house. Uh, we're probably going to do, like, bedroom straightforward, then enchanting room, and brewing room. This is, this is a lot of storage right here. Um, we might, like, in the hallways leading to each, we may have more storage. Um, but for now, uh, I think we're just going to leave it as it is and go do some other stuff. Um, here. So, um, I really want to get started on the enchanting room because I haven't, I have an enchanting table and I haven't used it once. Um, and I really want to start using that because my level keeps dropping because I keep going to the nether trying to get more glowstone and quartz and then I just die. Um, <laughs> Or I AFK by the sugarcane farm and die. Uh, but the sugarcane. Wow, we had exactly. We had the exact amount of wood needed. But uh, the sugarcane farm has actually been doing pretty well. Uh, not as well as I would like. But it's. The rates are pretty good. I think I'm gonna expand it. probably make these walls look a bit nicer, but um, maybe put a pattern on the floor with carpet. But yeah, that's looking pretty good. Uh, this is definitely the feel I wanted, kind of like a circular feel, like you're always kind of in like a little circle thing. <laughs> but yeah, I like it, so let's take a look from the front and the side, and have a spider come down right on center with it. <laughs> so yeah, let's, uh, s is it day? I don't know. I could have sworn you can turn off rain with Optifine. Rain particles, off. Water, no, we want that. Rain splash, off. Done, done, done. Back to game. They're still here. At least the at least the sound's gone, so I'll live with the rain thing. Wow, this sugar cane grew a lot. Only if this sugar cane could, or only if that sugar cane where the farm is could grow as much as this one does. Um, what do we got? Enough to make two pieces of paper, or six pieces of paper, and um, we can make. We're out of leather, so we'll just set that there for now. Um, how many bookshelves do we have? Eleven, which I think is actually enough. Uh, close to it. So yeah, this episode I'm gonna see if I can expand the sugarcane farm a bit. Um, before I started recording, I went over here and grabbed a batch of sugarcane. There was like 17 in there. Uh, so I got that. So I don't expect there to be any. Um, now one problem with this is, and the reason why I want to expand it, whenever these pistons push the sugarcane off, it doesn't always go into the water. Where I'm standing now is where some of the sugarcane falls onto. And uh, I'm pretty sure the sugar cane that grows level with those blocks I just placed, that sugar cane almost always gets pushed in there. But if it goes up to three, it kind of works the way, like, whenever you have a tablecloth on a table and then, like, glasses and stuff on top, 
and you pull the tablecloth out and the glasses like don't go with it they just kind of fall straight down i think that's happening here um and that would be the property of matter known as inertia for <laughs> anyone interested in the science behind that uh, i wouldn't expect anyone to be though i mean sh sure you could be interested in it but you probably already knew that and if you didn't, you're probably younger, but that's okay, so you just learned something. Hooray. Um, <laughs> educational. What's our render distance at? Normal. Yuck. I like to keep things on far. I think the only reason why I was in normal was because I was in the nether, and yeah, the nether lags a bit. Okay, so let's see what we can do to expand uh, our sugarcane farm. Now, the problem is I don't have any extra sugarcane lying around. I have two. Um, but we're going to want dirt, cobble, and some redstone. Uh, we'll just grab, like, five blocks should be enough. Um, here's my updated chest, I guess, if you want to take a look at it. Uh, that's all the stuff I have. So, yeah, let's get to that sugarcane farm, see what changes we can make. Um, now, for efficiency issues, I'm pretty sure the best way this is going to have to be done is just by expanding it. Because, as I said, that third bit sometimes doesn't land in the water, so we're losing some sugarcane. And, yeah, for efficiency's sake, we're definitely going to have to um, expand this. So, I was thinking actually, what we could do is do it here. And, because uh, it doesn't necessarily have to be in line, because we can just move that. Also, we're going to need more pistons. Uh, I'll get those in a bit. Um, and you know what, for sake of using less repeaters, we're going to do it like this, and then, um, actually, you know what, I don't really have any of the proper materials for that, so I'll probably expand it off screen and then just show it to you then. Um, just because it's going to be kind of like a monotonous task. Let's go actually check and see what changes we can make to the King of the Hill map. Because I found a little slight error with it, I guess you could say. And uh, it's very easy to fix. So let's go fix that. Basically what's happening is whenever I step on the hill I guess you could say what's gonna what's happening is it turns on two lights at once and basically the way the redstone works is there's torches under there and I can show you actually uh, what happened what's happening here is this repeater powers this block which turns off this torch and up above here you can see that there's a torch that's in the off state. Whenever this torch shuts off, this torch turns on, powering on this lamp. However, the way redstone works is this lamp becomes an active block because it's being powered by that torch, and it powers that lamp too. So if I put some stuff in here, um, you can see that both of these are powered even though this one should be off. Now, the best and easiest way to fix this is, instead of the lamps turning on, we can have them turn off in a cycle. So what we're going to have to do is, we're going to have to make a whole new row of torches, which won't be a problem at all. And um, uh, I'm also, I was also considering moving this back, so have all these lights in the side of the mountain. So we can we can do that. Um, so let's figure out where this is gonna be. Uh, 
need 15. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Uh, ends right in this line. So we can have it basically in the same spot, just in the wall over here. And uh, we're going to want these blocks and these blocks if we're going to have the lights there because uh, we want the pistons covering them up. I'm um, Not the pistons. We want the blocks to cover up the lights. I don't know why I said pistons. Um, okay, so let's just dig out this bit. And we should be good to go from there. Uh, perfect. So now let's count this out. Uh, once we get down there, of course. Yeah. Let's just, for sake of ease, hop down here and just dig from this side. Because eventually we'll run into the other side. Just try and use my pick to break dirt. And then I think once we're done with this, we'll end off the episode. Because uh, it's almost at. 30 minutes, so let's break the rest of these torches. Okay, perfect. Alright, now we gotta do a lot of changes here. Uh, let's dig all of this out. We're gonna have to move the entire hopper bit, so we cannot carry that all. Uh, let's we don't need that much dirt. I don't want the string. Wait, hang on. Oops. Oh no, we got it all. Okay. So, uh, what don't we need? We got all of our torches, but we're gonna want to grab some of our repeaters. So we'll toss out the mushroom. There we go. Okay. So let's get all of our repeaters. We're gonna need our comparator also. Um, <laughs> we just have loads of stuff today. We don't need all this dirt. Let's grab our comparator. And then we need a slot for redstone dust. Perfect. Alright, now I think I'm going to be one repeater short. And you'll see why in a second. Um, basically, what's going to happen here is... I need to extend the signal since we're bringing it out further, which is going to require a repeater. So let's count this out. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and we're going to want a repeater right here. Yes, so this is going to shorten... Um, oh, that causes a problem. Um, let's just cover that up. Okay, so... Okay, so now that we're here, uh, what I'm going to want to do is bring the hopper-hopper combo up higher, because we're going to have the, um, all the torches along this ridge bit right here. So let's set that up, get that all ready to go. And we'll probably pretty this up off screen. I'm just going to show you um, the mechanical function of what's going to be happening here. So let's turn all that off. I mean, get rid of the unnecessary. Rest some torches. Um, we have an extra. Oh, what's powering this? Oh. Is it supposed to be powered or is there a mob on here? No, it's supposed to be powered. Um, let's do something with our last bit. Actually, what we can do is we can do that because I need to grab my lamps. <laughs> so let's get all of these. Okay, so these do come back with a pick. I think I tested this in an earlier video actually because I wasn't sure. Um, There goes a shovel. Good thing I bring extras. <laughs> Always want extra shovels. Let's grab the rest of these guys. And let's fill up 
this original hole. Um, yeah, so we are running out of time here, so I'll try to finish this up as fast as I possibly can. Um, okay, so we want... Hmm. Actually, we want to change this a bit. So let's get all of this down. Okay. And now let's break our torches again. And let's put them on solid with this so we can power these blocks from below. And grab our lamps. Surprised that skeleton isn't going after. Oh, we're stuck. Perfect. So, let's just do the rest of this in the third. Um, let's just make it look kind of like a hill. <laughs> blah, 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 blah. Cover this up here. And let's get rid of the rest of that. Oh, he's going for me. Oh, and there's a lot of other mobs. <laughs> So I'm going to get out of here before all of my hard work is destroyed. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. As always, my name is Elix. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please leave a like. Um, it helps out the channel. And um, also, uh, tell your friends about the channel if you like it. Because once we get to 200, um, I'm going to be doing a giveaway. And I am very close, as I said earlier in the episode, with 171 uh, at the time of recording this video, that is. So yeah, thanks for watching. My name is Elix. See you guys next time. Kidding, bye.